This video is brought to you by Soundcore and we're gonna be checking out their Q30 wireless headphones with active noise cancellation and 40 hours of battery life with ANC enabled and up to 60 with ANC disabled. So let's go ahead and crack these puppies open. Oh, I remember. Hey, look at this, look at this. I remember planes. Do you remember planes? <laughs> Yeah, they're great for on the plane when that ever becomes a thing. But don't worry, don't worry. You can also use them indoors and outdoors. One of the key features of these is that you can get up to four hours of listening time off of just a five minute charge. Quick charging has been one of the biggest innovations for me when it comes to portable devices like this because I'm the kind of person who's not real diligent about charging, especially if it's something that I don't use every single day, like my phone, for example. So being able to just pop Pop it on the charger for a couple minutes and be ready to go is a pretty big deal. Not bad actually for 80 bucks. Like my uh, my expectations in terms of build quality were were not that high given the price and feature set, but okay, that is some very very cushy memory foam. The real question though is is it thick enough? They offer NFC pairing, so you can see they got the little sticker on there. Oh, oh, sound car. You gotta get a sticker that comes off clean. Oh, at least it doesn't leave any residue. Okay, I've seen, I've seen much worse. So there's a metal band that goes along the top here. And then on the inside, there's plastic pieces. And this piece is also plastic. Reasonable hold. Still pretty easy to adjust. A reasonable amount of padding on the headband. You can see here, instead of going for a really memory foamy type of pad, they went for one that has a little bit more rebound. That makes sense because the ones on your ears are just meant to shape to your head and make sure you get a good seal. The one on your head is meant to actually support some of the weight of the headphones. Clamping pressure I would describe as moderate, not super tight, but it's not loose either. All right, I kind of know what they feel like. All right, I tend to be a bit of a strong clamp guy. Wow, really good noise isolation right out of the gate, which is obviously a great place to start when you want noise cancellation to be a key feature of your product. This seems to be like a very, very noise absorby foam here. That's pretty cool. Now I tend to be a bit of a tighter clampy kind of guy. I like the clamps, you know? So these are a little bit looser than I would necessarily prefer, but it's always a trade-off, right? Because the tighter you clamp, the less comfortable they're going to be over a very long period of time. I just, I kind of like that secure snug fit. They do move around a little bit, but they're also not just gonna like come right off unless you're really head banging. Let's get it adjusted just right too though, just to make sure we give it as fair a shake as possible. Okay, okay, at the right size, that's not bad. So on the bottom of the right ear cup, you've got your play pause button as well as volume up, volume down. And is that a headphone jack? Does this have like a sharing feature? I didn't even see that on the thing. Oh no, that, no, oh, I'm an idiot. That's so you can use them in wired mode. Uh, we've got a noise cancellation toggle as well as power button and type C charging. Type C charging always a plus. That makes sense though, given Soundcore's anchor lineage that good charging technology would be a foundational aspect of this product. Included Type-C charging cable, as well as an included three and a half millimeter cable. Man, I'm not even daily driving anything with a headphone jack anymore, so it's like, oh, where's my iPhone? There we go. All right, let's pair this puppy. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if the iPhone supports NFC pairing, does it? Isn't that how the iPods pair? Mm, no, I think it's just um, like Bluetooth proximity nonsense. Okay, Soundcore Life Q30, and connect it. I mean, NFC pairing is one of those like, yeah, it's nice to have things, but it doesn't really save that much time. That was pretty painless. We're already totally ready to go. That is kind of trippy. Can you can you say something again, David? Uh, YouTube music is great. Interesting. Than... Soundcore is taking a bit of a different approach to canceling out uh, 
sort of sudden noises than I think I've heard before. So it definitely takes some of the edge off of it, but you sound kind of robotic to me. I don't have anything playing right now, so there's no distractions, but you really do sound like a stormtrooper. Huh. Oh, that's my life goal. Everything's okay down here. How, how are you? It's like, ex it's like TK421, do you copy? Like freaking. You're a little short for a stormtrooper. Hey, yeah, all right, enough of that. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? Let's go with some, let's go with some wham, you know? Let's get some, some classics. Classics up in here. So where do I touch for transparency mode? Oh, two seconds. There we go. Wow, okay. Interesting. So it not only sort of allows outside sound to come in, it seems like it's actually amplifying it. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can hear you fine. I haven't adjusted the volume at all. Interesting. Okay, so hold on, let's change modes again. Hey, how you doing? Good. Huh, the tonality of the music really doesn't change much. I'm surprised. I'd like to see that two second delay adjustable within the app. It does feel a little bit long. Wow, like your footsteps? Honestly, it sounds like, like CSGO. Yeah, like, like, it's kind of trippy how much it passes through to me. All right, so far I've been at a pretty low listening volume here. I would definitely describe them as pretty bass heavy. Not too sloppy though. Like even girls just want to have fun is like boom, boom. You're like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty thumpy. Yeah, that's what, it's exactly why I wanted the app. I wanted to play around the EQ a little bit. Like it's not unpleasant. It's just a lot of bass for my tastes. One of the marks of a good headphone for me though, even if you have transparency mode is, can it be worn comfortably like this? Not bad. They've got a lot of swivel in the cups and enough flex in the headband that you can actually tuck it away here. No automatic turning off features or anything like that. Remember guys, these are $80 with, well, active noise cancellation and a big fat battery. But of course they do have control buttons on the left cup anyway, so. Wait, why did I just agree to get notifications from a uh, headphone app? Whoops. All right, Life Series, here we go. Life Q30, uh, yeah, sure. Update firmware. Fix bugs. Uh, fair enough. Oh, okay. Better transparency performance, apparently. Don't disconnect or play music while installing updates. Uh, that was a very quick, like, app recognition and, like, firmware prompting process, though. That was, like, really fast. It's the kind of thing most people would talk about, but I tend to kind of gloss over it. In terms of style, they look all right, I guess. Yeah. You know, got some, they're black with shiny accents. Their headphones, all right. In Soundcore's product bullet points for this, they mention 40 millimeter drivers, but my issue with that as a talking point is that it's kind of meaningless because a, a, a well-tuned 40 millimeter driver could be way better than a poorly tuned 50 millimeter driver. Like the size of the driver, it tells you not much, really. Um, so well, it's better for me to just say, yeah, they, they sound pretty responsive and the base is tight, then for me to say, yeah, it's got a 40 millimeter driver. It just doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, cool. So there's noise cancellation, which works pretty darn well. Transparency mode, which is like amped up and normal. No noise cancellation, no transparency, just a noise isolated closed back earphone. Okay, that I wanna hear. Good Lord, that is a lot of bass though. I would probably put these like, somewhere in this neighborhood. <laughs> okay, easy to use EQ. Yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to adjust in here, but I guess there's not a whole lot that I would want to. Whoops. Oh, interesting. This isn't something I'd be able to easily test right now, but they've actually got different tuning profiles for the active noise cancellation. Interesting. So indoor goes after voices. That explains why I couldn't hear you guys freaking at all. So then in transport mode where it's going after like engine rumble, I don't, you guys want to say something? I still can't hear you guys. No, I don't mean like just make noises. All right, that's a cool feature. 
So again, these are 80 bucks if you wanna check them out. They're at the link in the video description. Uh, highlighted features are of course 40 to 60 hour battery life, depending on whether you're running them passively or with active noise cancellation. Five minutes of charging gives you four hours of playback and of course all the tuning that you can do in the app for the active noise cancellation and EQ. And for short circuit viewers, you guys can get 15% off if you check them out now. So we're gonna have that linked down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this one and we'll see you on the next one. Got this, I can do it. There we go.